hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this training session in today's session we're going to be discussing day trading the gold futures markets the yellow metal gold offers some fantastic opportunities almost 24 hours a day and particularly when you find that say the ES is very quiet or the NQ gold may be a great alternative for you as, as it has some great trends every day as we get underway I do need to put up the risk disclaimer there is of course a risk in trading if you haven't read this disclaimer please pause the video and read the disclaimer as well as if you don't have my free training manual in the description link below you'll be able to click on that to obtain my training manual as well as my ebook the truth about day trading please visit my site so let's get into this there are some key points before we go to the chart so I'm going to show you a couple of things on the chart so first of all it's almost a 24-hour market that is the exchange the CME does close down for a few minutes while they reboot computers and whatever so it's basically a 23 hour day market five days a week you've got some good daily volume it's not as much as say the NQ or the ES overall however during the globex session which is the after hours market let me just give you an example right now so it's Monday morning down under in Australia it's 1113 a.m. the market's been open for what about three hours now and if we look at gold it's traded uh, nearly 15,000 contracts the ES is traded just under 14,000 and CL oil has traded uh, around 14 and a half thousand contracts so gold has actually exceeded all those markets so you've got some good volume in the globex market now it does slow down you don't have that much volume in comparison when I say that much it's not as much as uh, say CL or nowhere near as much as um, say the ES during the New York session however there's some some still some great trends and as we know the ES can really slow down at times and can be in long periods of consolidation now gold will have have its periods also but you have a lot more trends you know get some great breakouts some great trading opportunities so there's good daily volume so as I mentioned some great intraday trends uh, I love it I love gold during the uh, globex session like right now and I'll show you in a moment we'll go and have a look at the charts uh, it moves with the dollar uh, and as you see a lot of Forex markets moves the currency markets you'll see gold move as well and that's something also to be very very aware of which I'll cover in a moment now a big thing that comes up is which is the right time frame to trade well first of all I've got to say what suits your personality of course it's no good me saying here uh, to trade the 89 and 144 volume chart on gold if you're not really a day trader because those settings can move very very quickly so you need to find a time that suits you you've got to remember that if you're say trading divergence trades or 34b or one of the other many trades setups that we teach in a day traders fast track program that really they appear on all markets and all time frames so number one first of all is what best suits you now let me tell you what I like during the globex session I like the 89 to 144 volume chart does that mean by the way that a one minute doesn't work or you can't use say a 55 tick during the globex session no of course not it just comes down to personal preferences and maybe even habits that appear over a period of time what really suits you so during the globex session 89 to 144 the difference there by the way is really speed as once you start to say from where we are now um, in the Asian session you lead into the London session you'll find that the 89 may be too fast for you now getting into the New York session the 144 tick I really like if you like range charts you might look at a three or a four range and the comment under that also I've got use an anchor chart now the anchor chart that I like to use is three times higher than the, the my entry chart so say uh, if I'm using an 89 I'll go up to and use a fib number I'll use a 233 for my anchor chart so very important by the way you use an anchor chart because the purpose of an anchor chart is not necessarily to trade off that but just to confirm your higher time frame the overall trend direction because I think that's 
uh, one of the really biggest tips I can give you with gold yes you'll get some great divergence trades and perhaps if we've got time I don't want to make this video too long we'll have a look at some but really stick with trading with the trend because one thing with gold it can be extremely volatile very volatile and that really comes down to the next thing here which is the risk the maximum risk I believe full stop no matter what market you're trading should be a maximum of 2% that's very important for lower the better now because of the volatility of gold margins are higher the day trading margins are higher than say trading oil or trading the ES or the NQ etc so you will have a higher margin and that's an important thing with gold I tend to find if you're trading with the trend yeah you're not going to cop some of those violent moves that stop you out and give you that uh, three or four even five or six ticks slippage and that's the thing you've got to be aware of gold is you can get a lot of slippage even on your exits so um, because of those moves and you'll see that and that's very important leading to the next point here is watch for red flags very important that you not only say check the website called econoday.com for red flag announcements but you also check the red flags for currency announcements uh, on forexfactory.com that is very important for you to check that because um, once again those moves can be really severe with gold and you'll get a lot of slippage on your exits and, and your entries of course if you're using market orders so I like to be um, uh, have I'd like to be totally flat with any positions during red flags for both Forex announcements and for the general uh, economic news announcements in the US now the best times to trade if you're trading the New York session 7:30 to till 2 p.m. but you will get some great uh, moves and some great trends during the Asian and London session remember it's a 23 hour basically a day market the volumes a lot thinner of the, the thinner the market depth of course if you're a 50 lot trader you're going to have problems during the aftermarket and even it could be interesting even during the New York session so but uh, there are some great trading opportunities 20 you no know, 23 hours a day but the best times are 7 30 a.m. Eastern till 2 p.m. now what I'm going to do is let's go uh, and quickly duck over and have a look at a few things on the charts uh, one thing I do want to mention is please subscribe to my channel and you'll be able to be kept up to date with all of these but a couple of things I want to point out on this we'll come back to this particular PowerPoint okay so what we're looking at traders here is the 144 tick chart and down the bottom there you can see um, um, 1044 so that's during the um, New York session and on my right I've got a 377 so I like a 144 tick for my entry chart for my actual trading chart and I've got my 377 which is my anchor on the right and what I really like to see is both charts trending in the same direction now if you're a pure price action trader uh, just ignore the, the indicators down below as you can see my EMAs really give you my trigger line the EMAs all the information you really need if you're a trend trader once again you'll see some fantastic uh, uh, trade set up both uh, with trend and counter trend up here we got our 200 B uh, we've got a t25 here we've got a 34 B you've got a, a 21 B just there so members you know what these setups are uh, here you've got a nice little double bottom uh, but as with all trading your best trading of course is trading with the trend now for members watching this by the way here is a classic example and let me just move something out the way here this is uh, a t19 with trend now t19s with the trend the same as a t7 with the trend what we call bet the farm trades by the way they generally give you a great return now you may be thinking well what about stops and what about targets on gold generally speaking I like to see a stop of around seven ticks maybe an eight tick stop now in a fast moving market you'll find of course that um, the market takes off we are momentum traders by the way if you're a day trader we are momentum traders um, that you may have to have a larger stop but here's just something to consider first of all I like my stop to be one to two ticks above a swing high so here I'd have my stop a couple of ticks above here 
and generally it's about seven ticks I will increase my stop to eight ticks as a maximum with an overall target of eight ticks as well now in a fast moving market which you'll quite often happen in gold where it'll take off like a rocket if you wanted to put your stop a couple of ticks above a swing high you might end up with a 10 15 tick stop so if the market's moving that quickly I'll just keep it at seven okay if I get stopped I get stopped now here we can see the white paint bar by the way is our super scalper and really nice one here once again that is a t19 we had a nice uh, 89b right there so you'll get just some great trends with this market here is your t20 you got a 34b there again and here you're heading up for a really nice divergence trade now remembering what we want to be doing of course is conferring with our anchor chart that gives us a lot of information but what I just wanted to really point out here was gold offers some great trading opportunities and as you can see here by the way they are pretty much obeys um, the floor pivots you'll see the market bouncing off floor pivots this is an area by the way where we want to be more cautious now of course what we can see here all of our EMAs are converged uh, are we in a trend here no we're in a sideways trend okay we're in a range bound market here and what we're waiting for is a nice breakout and there are various techniques of course we can use to get our breakouts now the next thing I did want to show you is the 89 tick so that is our New York session time frame 144 tick and the 377 and sorry I meant to say actually 89 volume so uh, uh, on trade station it's known as 89 share bar so you'll still get some nice little trends now when you're trading the Klobik session generally speaking you can sort of keep your stop maybe as low as six ticks but once again I really want to see my um, uh, target there one tick below and just subject to the volatility or your ATR average to range you may need to have a have a target of only five to seven ticks if you're scalping the market so this is during the globe accession well this by the way isn't standard times about 3 a.m. you as I mentioned during the uh, London session you'll pick up some really nice trends bit choppy there now to keep you out of the chop this is where you want to be looking for what I call the sweet spot the sweet spot is when you have the EMAs on your anchor chart confirming the direction of the EMAs on your entry chart okay this is what we call sweet spot trading if you truly want to make a small fortune from the markets um, just wait for these sweet spots wait to see I call it a fanning of the EMAs you can see here my EMAs are separating now of course if we were to take this over to right hand side this is all you would be seeing this bit here and you can see very clearly my EMAs are starting to separate here on the anchor they're separating on my entry I'm waiting for my first pullback I actually have a couple of different types of trade setups here we've got a t2 we've got a 34b and I've got a t1 so we've got multiple trade entries there this is the best of the best when it comes to trading virtually any market and particularly gold so uh, I just wanted to maybe show you just divergence trades here uh, let's see here um, okay you can just see and by the way this is what we call a t3 when we start to see great angulation uh, on gold and you can see the angulation if I was to draw a line here whoops not uh, let me just get this right for you trend line okay see this great separation here this is what we call angulation basically a wedge formation when you start to see that in the cross back down under the trigger line uh, it's an excellent indication of a potential short or a great short opportunity and when you see particularly what I call two waves one two you get this great separation like this and a great um, uh, uh, angulation great angulation like this generally you'll get a really healthy move and a rule of thumb is is to take your uh, a measurement from there to there and let me perhaps just try to draw this for you I'm just gonna have to quickly disengage something to do this properly for you this is one way of, of measuring so I've taken that there to be 200 okay there that will be my generally the minimum move I will get from there to the, to the 200 now I've actually I was actually thinking of another type of wedge I was going to actually show you but um, um, confused myself there a bit but that is the measurement there 
I was, I was talking about it. I was thinking about another wedge that we actually use uh, called an ascending and descending triangle wedge um, we use that as a measuring tool here it is here anyway so just remember also when you take these um, divergence trades or counter trend trades your first uh, bounce point will be the gold then the 89 then potentially the 200 the, the more severe the move the greater what I call the snapback will be so traders are giving you just a, a quick rundown but there are some great um, moves every down gold like all markets gold has its own personality its personality is totally different to say the ES the NQ and oil it's totally different to the uh, Forex markets it can be a wild beast and as I say you never turn your back on it okay uh, and trend trading gold unless you've got a severe oversold overbought market uh, just really stick with the with the trends that's what I'd recommend now quickly and by the way as you can probably tell these videos are raw real and unedited um, so excuse any um, typos or if I fluff anything up as I'm talking to you about this so anyway um, back onto this slide here as we close out if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do uh, visit my website for $197 you get my 12 top day trading and swing trading strategies over 300 videos now my total uh, private collection for members I have uh, over 200 videos now on YouTube for the public but I've got over 300 for, for traders I have manuals this cheat sheets there's free indicators and there's no upsell the only up, up, upsell is if you choose I do run a live uh, training room three hours a day four days a week for serious uh, futures traders from 8 a.m. Eastern till 11 a.m. Monday through to Thursday I only charge $97 a month for that but if you want to learn how to day trade the main markets live three hours a day for 97 a month come and join us in the live room otherwise become a member as I mentioned 197 you receive all of my indicators uh, all of my cheat sheets over 300 videos his powerpoints etc anyway visit the website you'll see all of that so hopefully you picked up a couple of ideas and by the way traders I should have mentioned this at the start of this video even if you watch my videos and just pick up one idea a day I put out new videos each and every week for the general public besides the private members only and have a notebook you know just take just jot down what you know as, as I mentioned things jot it down I guarantee you'll pick up one or two ideas every video I'm really I've been at this business for over 24 years and quite frankly traders I still pick up new ideas we've got a lot of professional traders that trade with us and seriously virtually every day I'll say oh that's a good idea that's something I can learn from and really that's what our business is about and as they say the sign of an intelligent person is how open they are to new ideas you know I'm not saying don't verify the idea or check it out for yourself but um, once again there's a lot of great traders we work with and they come up with some smooth ideas so anyway I'll finish this video thank you traders see you on the next recording